Alright, real quick, just a little short video. Um as y'all as I told y'all, well if y'all saw my AG uh performance module video about it making my truck go crazy and it run terrible and start clacking and all kind of stuff. Uh I took it out, so there's the blank hole where I put it. I already ordered another blank cover for it. They got them on uh uh GM parts direct uh all day long so order that um still have a check engine light as you can see so and truck's running normal now uh only thing i have noticed is my auto start stop does not work anymore i'm not sure what's up with that but um but this is my scan tool deal so is this your vehicle yes and then fuel rail pressure sensor performance so it does plug into the fuel rail i don't know why it's so blurry there it goes so it does plug into the fuel rail um but i'm just not sure why it throws like service parking brake and all that good stuff when you turn it to setting number one on this performance module so um let's see that's one code that's one of six So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, erase. Alright, code's gone. As you can see. Only crappy part is that it's permanently stored. It permanently stores like a... Mm, that right there, low voltage. Alright. Let's see. It's off now. So that's permanent. Because when it freaked out, it left that code behind. I don't know. I have to look up and see what that is because it doesn't say. I don't have a definition for that. And then that one, that code. So it left all these codes in here permanently. Um, uh, this one, two. So this one is only in there because when it started making those noises, I panicked and I forgot and I forgot that you that just they wanted you to wait so that you don't throw so that you don't throw a check engine light um upon installing. Uh but it had already thrown the light anyway, so I just unplugged the module and plugged my factory harness back in. Um, but after doing that, um, I disconnected the battery and all that good stuff, but it's, like I said, it's still permanent in, in the system. So, um, yeah, but it, no more check engine light and, and it starts up fine now cause it was having trouble starting, uh, when it, when the, that module was plugged in. Um, and like I said, I had nothing disconnected. I I've. I've looked under this truck dozens and dozens upon dozens of times since I've had it and, you know, got 10,000 miles on it now. I mean, I maintain it pretty meticulously in, in my opinion. Um, I'm always keeping up with everything. And like I said, that, that right there kind of made me panic a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's, it, everything's back to normal. Like I said, even with the code cleared, my auto start stop no longer functions. I, I don't know what, what that's about. I'm not really upset about it because, to be honest, it got on my nerves anyway because every time I had to get in and turn it off, which it still functions if you turn it auto stop off and auto stop on, it still functions as far as the button goes. But actually working, it does not work. So, But like I said, I'm not really concerned about that. I, it doesn't bother me at all, it, honestly. It, it I could have been without it and been just fine. Um, it, it's an annoying feature, and unless you buy the little adapter eliminator deal, um, 
which you got to pull all this stuff down to even plug that in to plug the little they make a little delete module so where you don't have to worry about turning it off every time but i'm not going through all that now i really don't have to go through it because i think that tuner pretty much knit that in the bud so yeah so yeah just a little that, that's my little short little update video and whatnot um i highly advise that you I, i'm not trying to bash them if ag or ag diesel solutions uh if their modules work for you that's fine i'm just making this video to tell you guys that for the 3.0 duramax at least mine anyway and i followed the instructions it did not work and i tried it tried doing it both ways i tried doing it letting it go in the sleep mode i've tried doing it disconnect the battery and it still gave me the same result as soon as you turn it to one it just goes psycho um the the first time it did it i almost like I, I was barely able to get it to move or drive or anything so um that was enough and then i did it again because i was thinking okay well maybe uh, you know i can follow the instructions a different way as far as putting it in sleep mode or disconnecting the battery i've done it always on that list and it it same result so that's enough for me if i'm paying that much money for something like that that's enough for me to stay away from it and I, I don't feel like uh it you know it, it's something that i would buy for you know keep on my truck that's just me um i called them today and they're closed it is saturday they only open monday through friday so i'm gonna call them on monday hopefully they can uh, point me in the right direction to get this thing sent back to them um like i said i'm not bashing them but i i'm i'm a little disappointed however you would think paying 400 bucks for you know something like that you you would at least get something that you wouldn't have any problems with at least very little problems um not something that sound makes your makes your truck sound like it's going to have a catastrophic failure um um yeah and I, i've never heard the truck sound like that at all um it, it, it reminded me of a uh, of the old 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 like the just uh, the older generation Duramax. It, I mean, it, it sounded real bad. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's back to its old quiet self again. It runs fine. Um, and yeah, man, like I said, just uh, in the future, I, I would say wait for the Banks Derringer. I, I know it says 2021, 2022. And then I saw something that just said straight up 2022. So, um, yeah, I, I'm just going to wait. I'm not, I don't think I'm even going to try the Scorcher. Um, on the Ag Solutions website, they do have a link that goes to AFE products, I think. And I was going to, because it says, you know, you can exchange or return within 30 days. Um, I was going to send this one back and just exchange it for the Scorcher, but if they're advertising AFE for this truck, I, which I did not know that I, I, I guess they're somewhat one of the same or sponsored by the same company. I don't know. Um, but I, I, I don't think I'm going to go with either one. Uh, I'm just going to wait for banks. Uh, I can be patient. Um, you know, uh, when it comes to, comes to the, you know, tearing up my truck, uh, but uh yeah guys i hope this at least helps you guys to decide whether or not you want to uh, take on something like this and maybe i got a faulty module i don't know but you know first impressions everything and that that pretty much ruined it for me i, I like i said i saw a couple videos here and there of people who were using the tuner um i think for for this truck and i didn't i didn't see them have any issues but like i said on mine it did and the first time you know that's enough for me I, I i don't need to be playing mail tag and you know sending one back getting another one sending one back getting another one and having the same problem or you know that that's that's enough for me um uh, yeah uh, so yeah all right guys so i'm i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna make another video on something else maybe the sound of the truck i may do it later today or something or maybe in a few minutes i don't know yet but i just wanted to try and get the truck 
just back to tip top shape um, for now um, until I just wanted to make sure everything was good with it. But all right, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out.